For nearly two decades, Chelsea Football Club was synonymous with Roman Abramovich. The Russian billionaire's arrival in 2003 marked the beginning of a transformative era for the club. His deep pockets and willingness to invest heavily in the squad turned Chelsea into a formidable force in both domestic and European competitions. The Russian oligarch transformed the club from London upstarts to European giants. Under his ownership, Chelsea saw a revolving door of world-class managers and players, each contributing to the club's growing legacy. The likes of Jose Mourinho, Carlo Ancelotti and Antonio Conti brought tactical brilliance and a winning mentality. His wealth fueled an era of unprecedented success, bringing trophies and global recognition. Chelsea won multiple Premier League titles, FA Cups, and most notably, their first UEFA Champions League trophy in 2012, followed by another in 2021. The club's global fan base expanded, and Stamford Bridge became a fortress feared by many. However, in 2022, the world changed for Chelsea. The geopolitical landscape shifted dramatically, and Abramovich found himself under intense scrutiny due to his ties with the Russian government. Sanctions were imposed, and his assets were frozen, casting a shadow over his ownership of the club. Abramovich's ownership ended under the cloud of sanctions, paving the way for Todd Bushley and Clear Lake Capital. The American businessman and his consortium stepped in, promising to uphold the club's rich history while steering it into a new era. The takeover was met with a mix of optimism and skepticism. This new regime promised investment and ambition, but early signs have left fans and pundits questioning their direction. While significant funds have been allocated for new signings and infrastructure improvements, the results on the pitch have been inconsistent. The new owners face the daunting task of living up to the high standards set by their predecessor as they navigate the complexities of modern football and strive to build a sustainable future for Chelsea Football Club. Abramovich's tenure was marked by a simple formula spend big, win trophies. He invested heavily in the transfer market, bringing in world-class players like Didier Drogba, Frank Lampard and Eden Hazard. This approach yielded an unprecedented haul of silverware, including five Premier League titles, two Champions League crowns and an FA Cup triumph. Abramovich's Chelsea became a force to be reckoned with, feared and respected across Europe. His commitment to success was undeniable, even if his methods attracted criticism. The arrival of Bailey and Clear Lake Capital marked a stark departure from the Abramovich era. Out went the singular focus on established stars. In came a new emphasis on data-driven recruitment and young prospects. Bailey, a co-owner of the LA Dodgers, brought his American sporting experience to Stamford Bridge. He promised a more sustainable, long-term vision for Chelsea, aiming to build a dynasty rather than simply buying one. However, the transition has been far from smooth. Despite the rhetoric of sustainability, Bowley's early transfer dealings have raised eyebrows. His first season saw a record-breaking spending spree, exceeding £600 million on new players. While some arrivals, like Enzo Fernandez, showed promise, Many others struggled to justify their hefty price tags. Critics accused Bailey of lacking a coherent strategy, appearing more concerned with making a splash than building a balanced squad. The sheer volume of signings created an unbalanced squad, lacking cohesion and tactical direction. One of the hallmarks of the Abramovich era was a ruthless approach to managers. However, even by Chelsea's standards, the managerial turnover under Bailey has been dizzying. Thomas Tuchel, the architect of their Champions League triumph, was sacked just months into the new regime. His replacement, Graham Potter, fared little better, lasting less than a season despite being handed a five-year contract. This constant upheaval created an atmosphere of instability, undermining any attempts to build a long-term project. Chelsea's lavish spending has not gone unnoticed by UEFA European football's governing body. Bailey's transfer strategy has pushed the club perilously close to breaching financial fair play regulations designed to prevent clubs from spending beyond their means. To balance the books, Chelsea have resorted to creative accounting, offering players unusually long contracts to spread the cost over several years. While this tactic may provide short-term relief, it risks storing up financial problems for the future. 
The Academy conundrum? Neglecting the future? Chelsea's Academy has long been a source of pride, producing talents like John Terry, Mason Mount and Rhys James. However, under Bowley, there are concerns that the Academy is being sidelined. The influx of expensive signings has blocked the pathway to the first team for young players, forcing many to seek opportunities elsewhere. This short-sighted approach risks jeopardising Chelsea's long-term future as they become overly reliant on expensive imports. Fan discontent, a growing chorus of disapproval. The recent changes at Chelsea have not gone unnoticed by the club's loyal and passionate supporters. Fan discontent has been growing steadily, with many questioning Bowley's decisions and expressing concern about the club's future direction. Protests have become commonplace at Stamford Bridge, with banners and chants directed at the owners and the board. The disconnect between the club's hierarchy and its fan base is palpable, casting a shadow over the once united Chelsea family. What next for Chelsea? The future of Chelsea FC under Bailey and Clear Lake Capital remains uncertain. The early signs have been a mixed bag with glimpses of ambition overshadowed by concerns about financial recklessness and a lack of long-term vision. The club's success will depend on whether Bailey can learn from his early mistakes, find a balance between ambition and sustainability, and restore the faith of the Chelsea faithful. The next few years will be crucial in determining whether this new era ushers in a new era of success or marks the beginning of a decline. Since the takeover, Chelsea has seen a whirlwind of changes, both on and off the pitch. The transfer market has been a focal point with significant investments in new talent. However, these moves have not always translated into immediate success on the field. Fans are eager to see whether these investments will pay off in the long run or if they will lead to financial strain. Bailey's approach to management has been hands-on, often seen engaging with players and staff, which is a departure from the previous ownership's more distant style. Another critical aspect of Chelsea's future is the development of its youth academy. Historically, Chelsea has produced some of the finest talents in football, and there is hope that this tradition will continue. Bailey and his team have expressed a commitment to nurturing young talent, but this will require patience and a clear strategy. The integration of academy players into the first team could be a game-changer, providing a sustainable source of talent and reducing the need for expensive transfers. Chelsea's rich history and tradition of success set high expectations for any owner. The club has enjoyed numerous triumphs, both domestically and in Europe, and the fans are hungry for more. Bowley's challenge will be to honour this legacy while steering the club towards a prosperous future. This involves not only winning trophies, but also building a club that is financially stable and capable of competing at the highest level for years to come. In conclusion, the road ahead for Chelsea is filled with both opportunities and challenges. Burley's tenure will be closely watched by fans, analysts and the footballing world at large. His ability to balance ambition with sustainability, invest wisely in talent and maintain the club's proud traditions will determine whether Chelsea can continue to be a powerhouse in football. The next chapter in Chelsea's storied history is about to unfold and only time will tell if it will be one of glory or struggle. Conclusion. A legacy tarnished. Roman Abramovich's departure marked the end of an era at Chelsea, one defined by trophies and controversy in equal measure. Under his ownership, Chelsea transformed from a club with potential into a global powerhouse. The Abramovich era saw the club win numerous Premier League titles, FA Cups and even the coveted UEFA Champions League. However, this success came with its own set of controversies, including financial fair play violations and questions about the source of Abramovich's wealth. Despite these issues, fans will always remember the glory days filled with silverware and unforgettable moments on the pitch. While Todd Boahali's reign has yet to reach such heights, it has already sparked its own share of debate and unrest. Bailey, an American businessman, took over with promises of continued success and stability. However, the transition has not been smooth. Fans and pundits alike have questioned his decisions, from managerial appointments to player transfers. The club has experienced a period of instability with inconsistent performances and a lack of clear direction. 
Bailey's vision for the club remains unclear, and this has led to a sense of unease among the Chelsea faithful. Whether Bailey can replicate Abramovich's success remains to be seen. The challenges he faces are immense, not just in terms of maintaining the club's competitive edge, but also in navigating the complex world of modern football finance. Bowley has made significant investments in the squad, but the results have been mixed. The pressure is on to deliver not just trophies, but also a sustainable model for the future. The shadow of Abramovich's success looms large, and Bailey will need to prove that he can lead Chelsea to new heights. But one thing is certain. The future of Chelsea Football Club hangs in the balance. The club stands at a crossroads with the potential to either build on its rich history or falter under new leadership. The decisions made in the coming years will be crucial in determining the club's trajectory. Will Chelsea continue to be a dominant force in English and European football, or will it struggle to find its identity in a rapidly changing landscape? The uncertainty is palpable and the stakes have never been higher. Only time will tell if Bailey's gamble will pay off or if his legacy will be one of squandered potential and unfulfilled promises. The journey ahead is fraught with challenges, but also opportunities. Bowley has the chance to carve out his own legacy, one that could rival or even surpass that of Abramovich. However, this will require not just financial investment, but also a deep understanding of the club's culture and the passion of its supporters. The next chapter in Chelsea's storied history is about to be written, and it remains to be seen whether it will be one of triumph or tribulation.